So today is the 20th November 2020 and we this is a bonus call for our embodiment, the manual that we should have been given when we were born. This is by Dr. Dane Heath. And I was enjoying so much that I wanted to get to the book. <laughs> so, Simona, hi. Seema, hi. Nippy. I'm happy to see the iPhone. <laughs> Very happy to see. How oh, did I get so young people coming to my class? Lucky me. <laughs> most Double. people, most people would say, "Oh my God, is Budiya ki class me jaane ka kya fayda?" <laughs> Good morning. Budiya nahi hai, hamari jaan hai. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And I am so happy. Uh, there is a competition between uh, Bindu family and Mamta family. <laughs> <laughs> Mamta or kisko laiye? Mamta or kisko laiye? Mamta or kisko laiye? Of course, it was his choice. Apni dhain ki ladki ko, apni beti, beti ko, beti ko. Kabul, that was a nice one. Yeah. Kabul, one thing. Yesterday ka recording nahi aa raha hai, maare paas. Aapne dana. Meere paas bhi nahi aaya. Abhi allow download nahi ho raha. Upload nahi ho raha. No problem. Yeah. So today, I tried it in the morning also, it didn't go. So let's see. You let go and then it'll go. <laughs> no, I didn't remember it yesterday, I didn't remember it yesterday. I didn't remember it yesterday. I was just talking, I was just talking to Aarti that how, how disconnected um, some of us are with our bodies. Uh, before we started doing these classes, not only access, uh, many other classes, my, many of us have done. And then some one fine morning, we were told that you have to be body you can connect to. And uh, still it's connect to, we have our own, own perception of what that means, connect to. We, so many people in my classes have said, I don't... Um, recognize energy. I don't get any sensation in my body. That's not true. It is there, but we don't get to. Nobody ever told us. Simple thing like I was telling her, simple thing like going to the toilet. Do you plan it? <laughs> it, it just lets you know. It gives you the sensation. It tells you, okay, come on, now is the time to go. And same way, you cannot avoid going there, right? Whatever you are doing, you have to go when, when that call comes. So what if, what if you followed the energy? What if you heard the whispers of your uh, body? What if when you are eating... You recognize that you recognize the taste of different things. I give you a laddu and say, "Sir, it's good lie, You're going to give me a slap, right? So, do you do recognize it? You do enjoy the tastes of different things. What if you did give a little more time to the textures of it? To the sweetness. You, you know this is too sweet. This is less sweet. Recognize that you know. Be present with it. Enjoy it. Some, somebody said long time back, my body is rigid. Tathastu. Can, is the body rigid? Can the body be rigid? What are we doing that the body is rigid? What information is the body giving it to us? Is it fun to have a body like that? When you're functioning from the head up, functioning from the insane various thoughts that are, that your sensor is picking up from the world around, where are you functioning from? Are you even present with it? 
we, when we, when we, uh, yes, thank you. When we, so we lock all that shit. We hide it somewhere in our bodies. Any of you do that or only me sometimes? Is any of this is any yes, of this yes. familiar to you guys? Yes, yes, me also. So what if there was another possibility? You heard this from me many times. What if there was another possibility? There is. What if every now moment your body can contribute to you in ways that you could never even imagine, ever? Here you know, you know, intellectually, you know that your body is brilliant. It's a good innate brilliance. What if you knew like you knew? What if you acknowledge that? When you acknowledgement is the key to getting more of that. And somewhere I read that every cell, did you know that every cell in your body knows exactly what its job is from the moment it was conceived? Be with that thought for a minute. Oh my God, every cell knows what's going to be and do in your body from the moment it's conceived. Every cell, all the cells, organs, systems that keep your body alive know, know what to do. And you, the being, is enjoying that. You, the being, are the energy that keeps it all together. So you are working in sync with your body. Body is all the time listening, is your obedient animal, servant. So what's going in your head and what's coming out of your mouth? Shouldn't you be aware of that? You are the space between the molecules that has created this magnificent body. So you are all in dance and rhythm. That's what you learn when you learn about chakras. If they are all running in rhythm with each other, you are the healthiest. One chakra is not running in rhythm with you. You, you are not healthy anymore. There's some trouble somewhere. Have you, I mean, I'm going to say it again, funny, you'll say silly woman, but have you ever noticed that your body breathes on its own? Your heart beats on its own. Your blood flows on its own. Your body knows when it has to go to the bathroom or when it requires food. Your body functions without you, without the capital U having to do anything. Your body just knows. Isn't that amazing? And when you start, when you start imbibing that thought, that reality, that awareness, where will you function from? What could you change? What could you, what could you choose? So every now moment, I would suggest to be in that presence of my God, what amazing my body is, and be grateful for it. Perceive the energy of your body. What is it saying to you? Is it at peace? And oh my God, what all it does for me without even my asking for my contribution. You won't be, you will be grateful in every now moment once you recognize that, when you acknowledge that. Hi, Kamar. Good morning. My video isn't working. This is Neera. 
okay 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 yeah. <laughs> and you know uh, thank you for saying all this and when you were saying all this i just got this great awareness with a bank ki hum kaise subah uthte aur 100 instructions hote hain aise karna waise karna staff ko diya khud ko diya do this do that and our body i mean if we trust our body and then extend it trust the universe trust everything everything does everything on its own we just hum ghus jate hain uske andar because you know we don't trust it you know but if we see how the way our body so miraculously works on its own day in and day out second in and second out ab tak jab tak hum jee rahe humne to kabhi apne heart ko nahi bola ab beat karo ab band ho jao ab chalo ab aise karo you know or our lungs you know okay now it's time to expand it's time to contract and they just doing everything on their own yeah so even if you don't focus. trust them <laughs> even if you don't trust them yes yes right thank you thank you yes. for that so we were at we were at chapter 15 right was it 12 i mean you told us to read 12 13 14 on our own because i think yes कल तक तो वी डिड पावर ऑफ केयरिंग पावर इन केयरिंग बुक वॉट इज दर्सेंटेज गाइज वॉट्स द पर्सेंटेज कबल आई थिंक चैप्टर फिफ्टीन इज फाइन That's what I said. I thought it was yeah. chapter five. Yeah, because पीछे इतना मिलेगा नहीं ना करने को. We can discuss the chapter. नहीं नहीं. Uh, what did? Where where was I? Can I? Can anybody tell me where I was? Actually, you were had. Uh, we had done chapter eleven, sexualness. We has we had done sexualness. Yeah. उसके बाद है sex sexualness. and all that i think we can miss all that and come to 15 and people want to miss that yeah because we had discussed that na in this sexualness mein thoda bahut discuss ho gaya tha yeah in the massage in the we're talking about massage yeah. and you told me how much of my sexualness you can see through my picture hmm. okay so that was chapter what okay. that was chapter 11 but i think 12 is I don't know I, if anyone wants to be with me. It's just a fantastic chapter, which uh, because it gives you uh, even the small nuances, uh, differences between sex, sexualness, sensualness, copulation, and sexuality. I mean, if anyone, I I would love you to discuss this topic if you have the time. Otherwise, so this is the chapter twelve you were saying. Yes, yes, yes. Because we did yes. chapter eleven yesterday. We just covered sexualness, right? But here we have a lot of acronyms if you can call them with sex, you know sex. Okay, so sex. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's chapter twelve: sex, sexualness, sensualness, copulation, and sexuality. So in short, I will tell you, yeah, that these are the five right. elements of sex, which we all club together and call it sex. so every anybody anybody looks at you anybody appreciates you adore i mean lust set you the way word we would use is actually appreciating you and we think he wants to have sex with you so would you be willing to seg be aware of all these sex means you you the being each of those have a completely different meaning and are part of the greatness of embodiment sex is when you are looking good feeling great strutting your stuff when everyone looks at you in and admires you but just because you just because you are feeling good if you are not feeling good however pretty you might look people don't usually look at you is that is that knowing that you the mirror tells you and you have you know you are looking good that's when 
Have you ever noticed people compliment you then? When you're feeling bad inside, then nobody even notices you. So that energy of sexualness is what people see. That is sex. Whenever anyone is looking at you and admiring you, that notice that from now on that you are yourself looking and feeling good inside. And when you are willing to receive and acknowledge yourself, you receive their attention and admiration. That's what sex is. It could be a male and a man or a man and a female, anybody. That's when they are, that's what sex is. So sex, sensualness is, let's read it from the book. It's 59%. Third paragraph. It is the pleasant sensation your body gets. Let's forget it. If you start reading it, then we will um, we will have to read the whole lot. So, uh, when is when uh, when what is sensualness? Sensualness is that touch that you feel, that hug that you get, that kindness and caring that you get. That is. That's what sensualness is. Yeah, and can I say something here about yes, sensualness? Please, please yeah. go ahead. So, so senses, we have five senses normally. Actually, we have seven, but we use five of them a lot. So when we use all the five senses together, mostly, we get this feeling of exuberance. It's like swimming, the water touching you, the sun touching your body, you know, the beautiful breezy air, the mountainous air, you know, or just when you're walking around, all that. So that is sensualness when you feel with your senses, you know. Yes, yes. Sensual has to do with all the pleasant sensations your body gets to experience. Okay, so copulation is when you, when your body parts touch. So that is what is, we call intercourse or we call, but what do we do? Everything that is there, whenever you're feeling good, you go straight to in bed with somebody. You do not even allow yourself to feel those sensations that your body is feeling at that moment. And copulation is the act of putting the bodies together. Notice that sex and copulation is not the same thing. And sexuality is all the judgments that you have about it. Sexuality is probably the most misidentified and misapplied word in this whole area. People think sexuality is about copulation and sex, but that's not what sexuality is. Sexuality is your definition of your sexual nature and it's always your judgment. An example of sexuality is I am a straight man. I am a, I am gay man. I am 30 leg, three leg gay donkey. Maybe an observation, but it's also sexuality. I'm a gay woman. I'm a straight woman. I'm bisexual. I'm trisexual. So all these are definitions. You are just an infinite being. The last is probably closer to not having sexuality because last was this, I'm straight. I'm bisexual. I'm trisexual. It's I'll try to I'll try any kind of sex there is. That last one is probably closer to now having not having sexuality because there's no judgment in that. At any rate, sexuality is always a judge. It cuts off what you can receive from others. If you say, I am a gay woman, can you receive 
anything from who is a straight or who's a trisexual or who's um, having sex or not having sex or who's you will cut off your receiving from the whole world only you will be receiving from people who are gay how much is receive how much of a receiving is that along with sexuality comes the force and the judgment of cutting off some aspects of you in order to make yourself delineated sexually sexuality work some degree of force is needed in order to make the judgments valid and to hold it in place and to keep the form structure and sig significance of it from being destroyed so um she, now he is i think giving the examples of you will not be able to receive if you define yourself what if you never defined yourself and you said oh my god i'm willing to have and be anything that's a choice you may not do what all you have decided is wrong once you get off that wrongness of you then you are the being who you truly be you do not have to choose what doesn't feel like to you at that particular moment so then he also gives an example of it so he says the true sexualness you don't function from sexuality when you are true sense when you're enjoying when you're being the true you when everything that you look at and you can see the beauty of it and in anything that touches you you be you enjoy without any point of view you are being you are you don't then function from sexuality i've broken these elements down to you uh, so you don't misidentify and misapply them because if you are mis misidentifying and misapplying them you are continually buying a lie and there's no way to get free freedom and joy around sexualness because you are always looking in the wrong place everything that brought up would you be willing to destroy and get it all right wrong good bad pop pot on a short boys and beyond and the next is very interesting the next 13 chapter is the 1 2 3 of sex and the communion of sexualness so i will just tell you in short mm, so first time you meet somebody actually this is they they are talking about copulation they are talking about uh, having sex with the person i i can uh, in india we we are a little different and uh, we would meet, go and meet somebody and we would feel nice we're just sitting we don't have a point of view we are at a party or we are at uh, somebody's house and we start looking at somebody and there is a connection and then you start talking to and you feel good about it and you so that is the first time Uh, you meet someone you enjoy being together then you go in uh, go uh, go and let then you you go home and then you feel oh my god let's try again what else is possible that is the first time more fun joy at that time that time you have no point of view nothing you just there in the moment and you're enjoying it then our expectations take over then you are oh my god i want to meet him maybe you you now looking into the future by the second time you are you you already have started a relationship which is not actually true it's only in your head and the third time you you already married and you started now what are all he's going to buy you and what all he's going to give you and then you're married you've got a house you got and he says this is the three things that we do wherever we are looking for relationship we kill it by this time you made it so significant that you are destroying it you are destroying the infinite possibilities that could be available when you go into the future and start planning and you are now married and decided what it would be like with him or her already living happily ever after guess what 
the moment just passes, gone by. You killed it. And then if it is not slightly, even slightly according to your plans, you have to judge. You are actually doing relationship according to this reality. And how many have you seen working? Ye hamare hamare to aise hota na. Ye banda bacha bahut six figure family uh, six figure um, kama raha hai. Iski family bahut achhi hai. Inka bada ghar hai. Inka ye inka wo. Fir ham apni ladki inko de denge. And it's going to work out all right. In my class, darling, I'll call you later. Sorry for that. So are you familiar with that? That moment is gone, which could have been so expensive. It could be so much fun. It could be so much joy. We killed it. Most of you will relate to that. What if you enjoyed that moment, capital, that moment, and then the next, and then the next? That next nurturing and fun moment without any planning and plotting. Choose next and the next based on, based on what you desire in that moment. And what you are grateful for. Even if you didn't meet that person again. Ever. Could you do that with your spouse please? Enjoy that moment with no stories. I don't know why we were not told that. Why didn't we see people doing that? Everywhere we bought into this reality that it's true, knowing it inside that that's not true, would you be willing to destroy an unfair it all? With your sister, with anyone, with your gardener. <laughs> I know it's not easy because we're so entrained and ingrained in functioning from past and future. Each moment would be wonderful. That could be your reality, guys, if you so desire. Would you like that? So the next chapter is orgasmic energy. What is orgasmic energy? Anybody here? Kawal, I love it. Kawal, uh, you know what's written below that? If you're expecting this to be endorsed by the Pope, don't read it. <laughs> yeah. If, if your Gurdwara and your Mandir and your Bhais, Pais and your uh, Mullahs come in place, please don't read this. <laughs> yes. They're all fucked up, I'm sorry. Yeah. I have a question. Yes, yes. Um, so a few years ago, I had uh, my tonsils taken out and it messed up my taste buds since then. So I'm not able to taste sweets really well. And when I can taste them, sometimes they morph their taste and make me just want to puke. So I've been asking my body, like, I know I can like have my taste buds back because freaking I love sweets, you know, but I just don't eat them because I don't enjoy them. So other than like, you know, what energy space consciousness, you know, can my body be to restore our taste buds? Is there anything else I can ask my body for help in? Just believe in it. You don't even have to ask anything. You look at the thing, do molecular demanifestation and demolecular manifestation on it. Okay. Put your hand and say DMMD. For a little while okay. till, you get, till you get the awareness of it and say, body, can we enjoy this? As simple as that. 
And if you enjoy a little more, say, my God, that's great. Can I have more of that? Please. So okay, what was I saying? What is orgasmic energy? Orgasmic energy is creative energy. So what are you willing to create? You can create anything on planet. And it is possible to have it all the time. Orgasm at eating rasgulla or working or even cleaning or dusting. Not only in bed. Not only you have to switch on a button off and on. You're present and you're ready to create. Every creation can be orgasmic. Whenever you are low, whenever you're buying into not enough, when you're going into lack, not possible, not easy. That way, that time you don't have any orgasmic energy. You have cut off yourself from that. The innate ability and the capacity of you is an orgasmic energy. Look at a child. Do you ever have seen an ugly child? Even in the slums, you go there, the nully going and the black cheeks and all, and you would still want to pick them up. And Dane in the book suggests that if you like to experience greatness of embodiment, touch your body. When you are in the bed in the morning or before you're going to bed, touch yourself. Arouse yourself. Turn it on. Masturbate more. Would you like to try that? Maybe would you thank, thank him? How many orgasm, how many, how, how many, it's, it's a topic here, I think. How many orgasms would your body like to have in a day? Do you limit it? Oh, I've had orgasm in the morning and now I can be glumpy and I can be pathetic and I can be blaming or you would like to the day you have the day you have an orgasm with your partner how does the day go nobody wants to answer that only 71 years old woman can be so vulnerable <laughs> so vulnerable to say it. you people are all hiding no it goes beautifully you're right you know are you having a hard time answering, guys? Ask your body and become aware what it desires. Okay, don't tell me. <laughs> and, and, and in access, Gary and Dane have heard them many times that there is a false idea that orgasm is completion. They say it's the start. Orgasm feeds your body energetically. You're flying the whole day long. Actually, that should be the state of your life, he says. So let me read this. There is a different sexual possibility available than anything you have considered. You may be experience, you may have experienced snippets of what's possible, or you may have experienced large part of what's possible. Sex should be fun for both. It's mostly not fun for both. I'm sorry. It's only fun for one person sometimes. Again and again and again and again. What if you included your partner? What if you played with it? What if you knew what the other person desires from you? Women are difficult to please. 
in the sense they don't even know most of us don't even know what gives us joy how about getting aware of that none of us have been told what the greatness of copulation can be we just do hit and trial and some people as gutty as maybe me would like to explore others just take it lying down it should be caring and nurturing to your body all the way through if it's not that it's no fun right so we are on chapter 15 your life someone as someone someone waiting someone waiting i'm seeing anybody i've been looking that side mamta being your obedient servant <laughs> but i have not there's nobody there at the moment sarita is there i don't know she i don't know let her tell her to uh, sign up again. i mean click again on the link thank you mamta so he says your life is an orgasmic experience is it guys who all who all's life is an orgasmic experience mine cool how does it get any better than this everything in your life should be an orgasmic experience your body loves it when you function from orgasmic energy and can you I can share something you can start one minute you can you can experience this when you eat when you start to eat now it's just you and your body and when you're eating put a bubble around you it is he said when you ask your body what it desires to eat be aware by bot you know when when you are in a restaurant and you are eating you are picking up everybody's food have you noticed that when the food is going the trays of foods is going to another table you would like to eat that too so put a bubble bubble in your around you you and now you're just you and your body you're not psychic psychically picking up information from everybody around you So as you sit to eat, create a little. I bubble. always do that. Ah, Kaval, I always do that. Yes, I know. Isn't that fun? So you know, it's it's just the two of you, you and your body. You can do this in a restaurant too. Lower your barriers, and there might there are lots of things that your body likes. Like just now, um, Param said that she wanted to have. Uh, coconut water and you will see that the body will uh, produce it somehow or the other you might have points of view and your body might like something else ask like you would ask a friend if you go with a friend to a restaurant would you say okay this is what i'm going to order you eat this no you're going to consult your friend would you force your uh, friend why would you force your body then you like you you would want your friend to enjoy their meal same way you would like your body to enjoy and body eats you don't yes uh, jazz you were saying something yeah i was just gonna, so yesterday um there's a class i wish to take on the weekend it's not an access class but it's a pretty damn pricey class So I was like, I really wish to take it, but I don't have the money and the whole like drama and trauma. So I was like, okay, body, do you wish to be in this class? So I felt really light, and I said, well, it is a very pricey class. So make the money, like show me the money on how to make this, like how to get this class. So I bought this stock yesterday in the the stock market, and as soon as I bought it, it went in the negative, like quite bad. and i was like what the hell man like this is like ridiculous i'm losing money now that's it okay body 
like if you wish to take this class make this red figure turn green so my target was x amount of money and within 4 hours i surpassed that by 30% and cashed out and boom i got my money how does it get any better than that i started jumping i was literally screaming out of joy and i literally was in this orgasmic energy i'm like oh my god i was losing shit loads of money and boom it i ended up surpassing my my target so yeah so that is how you listen and be in communion with your body guys that's a good example if you are present and aware you may find that your body is with you is desiring same as you it is wishing to gift you whatever you desire okay so and also says that you don't have to eat the full meal full meal like in our oh, i will put this 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 try taking gary says i take three bites and i'm done because when i take one bite i am present with it i am i'm recognizing the texture it has i'm enjoying that my body actually just needs that much of energy if you eat too much of food say four three prathas two prathas or whatever is for your body then your body has to work harder it's a lie that your body gives you the full more food gives you energy in fact it takes more energy to digest it three bites may be just enough for it when it when it stops tasting wonderful when it stop tasting orgasmic so first first bite when you are hungry on the table the first bite is orgasmic right you are like aha when it stop tasting wonderful the way the first bite was maybe it's time to let go stop you've never been told that we've been told what is on the plate has to be finished then you will ask after one hour so keep feeding we keep feeding the children we never ask our body what do you require what do you desire It was never a question in our lives so his words he says if you want to start enjoying life as an orgasmic experience you need to develop your awareness of your body you need to be in communion with your body any question well, i have a small question here yes. hi yes yeah yeah okay uh, when you are saying once we build a muscle around this and we start getting the response regarding the food can i can i stop you once sure. you build there is no destination okay it's okay. never going to be completion that now you okay. know it and now it will be done every moment will be different you will be wanting different your body is changing and would want desire different it's a communion that you have to have once i've got married and now i know what my husband has got to do for me and i've got to do for them no it's a continuous you are you are a creation in the motion yes yes Yeah, okay. my question. Okay, thank you. My question was here that there are yes. there is certain diet that is recommended X Y Z reason. So even because of that, even uh, you know, sometimes I feel like eating something. Sometimes I don't. So, but you're like, ये mandatory है लेना है. So I am not like I'm still confused. But do I is continue that, what is I? That, is that is that yeah, mandatory for बॉडी डू यू डू यू डेल टेल बॉडी की इतना ही ब्लड पंप करना इतना ही सांस लेना इतना नहीं लेना सो वॉट इफ यू आस्ट योर बॉडी वॉट इट डिजायर इंस्टेड ऑफ मैंडेटरी एंड रियालिटी इज दैट इज दैट योर वेन यू डोंट वॉट इज मैंडेटरी इज इज द बॉडी टेलिंग यू समथिंग आर यू विलिंग टू लिसन ओके so i can still choose from those things and then you, follow or beyond or beyond okay can you <laughs> yes i'll i'll start creating no, the bubble no, i'll no, start creating the bubble follow, follow that diet you can't 
आई एम क्रेविंग फॉर सरसों का साग एंड मक्की की रोटी राइट कम ओवर कम ओवर आई एम गॉट सरसों का साग यम्मी सरसों का साग इन माय फ्रिज या here here we have not started getting it the moment we do i'm going to cook it okay thank you thank you you're welcome so we are at chapter 16 any more questions from our, some chapters that we haven't we have read hi kavar so want to say something so no hi kavar yes. yeah um uh, okay i just want to share something yes go ahead uh, Yeah, <laughs> my mom cooks lot of food since my childhood, fearing that you know, come pad jayega. My dad is a food police. Sab khatam hona chahiye. In that ping pong game, I have eaten so much in my life. Hello. Yes, yes, listening. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm coming to that term. Scale whatever my body requires, I'll eat that. and uh, e- even if i eat less my mom says ke are dekhna abhi aadhe ghante mein bhook lagegi and i say yeah okay then i'll eat again but right now i don't want to have it so it was a very in this ping pong game i am finally seeing my self out so i'm just sharing this with you yeah yes now you are so can you yeah, tap yeah. yourself can you can you acknowledge that you are ch- you are choosing what would work for you yes so ask for more so the next chapter is very beautiful it yes. says conversation with body 10 things your yeah. body would tell if you would listen are you willing to listen to your body is going to start talking now first do one thing a day to nurture acknowledge and appreciate me do you do that one thing just asking for poor thing is just asking for one thing do one thing a day to nurture acknowledge and appreciate me how many of you do that and how often so i give you a question it says body how would you like for me to nurture you and acknowledge you body how would you how would you like for me to nurture you and acknowledge you just by asking that question it will going to tell you what kamal what are you talking about body will talk to me you have to ask your body and then let me know does it talk to you i always most of you most of us always impose our points of view like just now geetu said mandatory <laughs> and we think we are nurturing our body we are dieting we are running we are doing exercises that is according to this reality nurturing seriously i know i've been there guys so can you say the question it. again how would you like to nurture me and uh how would you like for me to nurture you and acknowledge you so i have been there guys very much touching your body and acknowledging we do an exercise actually would you like to do it for one minute or few seconds just close your eyes nobody looking at anybody you can even uh, put off your video if you want to just go all the way yeah. touching your body every portion that it wants you to touch and be present and notice where it really wants to be touched
with no point of view. Any point of view coming, you can pock and pot. You can say, okay, for this moment, bye-bye. And then come back to your body again. So touch your body, acknowledge and appreciate it is a great way of communicating with it. And touch your body as if it's belonging to your loved one. Somebody you care for. Feel your body and let it feel you. Your hands on your face and how does the face feel? The sensation on it and your how do your hands feel? Receive from it and let it receive from you. Bodies love to be touched from a caring place with total sexualness. Now you can open your eyes if you are present, I mean, if you're done. And let me know how it feels. Would you like to do it once a day at least? Definitely. And how, how many of you have done facelift or had received a session? Yes. I have done it. I have done it. I have done it. I'm a practitioner too. Me too. I have done I it. Have a very good. So you, it erases wrinkles, lines, and gives you firm skin. Put your hands on your face any time in the day and just say, facelift, turn on and run. You can do it for one minute. You can do it for five minutes. However much you want to nurture your body. And then Dane suggests masturbate after that. And everywhere anybody told you masturbation is wrong, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? And I think he said that get it done and, and if, if you're getting late, who cares? If you're late for it. If you're nurturing your body, who cares? Whatever it is, pock and pot, all that comes up. Then what, what are you saying now? Masturbate means what? Now, anybody is willing to explain to her what is masturbate? Or I have to do it. You have to do it. <laughs> Nobody has the guts. What you do with your husband, can you do it with yourself? No. Why not? Who told you? Whose who's, who's, uh, story is that? Whose point of view is that? That you can't do it to yourself? I can do it with myself. So why won't you do it? Try it and tell me. Let me know how many points of views come up. Pock and pawn okay. them. Yes. Here. Yeah. If your body is not a joy for you, what is it there for? What, what if the purpose of having the body was enjoying all the sensations that the body is willing to gift it to you? You took that body for that reason. You were not happy just being the air and the spirit and the energy. You wanted a body. Right? Yes. Got it, man. So, bear 
where anybody is making that wrong and having millions of point of views bought from reality would you be willing to destroy and uncreate all of that right wrong good bad short boys and beyond i'm not saying do it i'm just saying are you willing to if it works for you there is nothing an infinite being can't or wouldn't do if it requires to do it works for it so the second is stop judging me that we've done million times and all of us know that judging is not the way to change it if you listen to it i promise you judging is not the way to change it stop judging your body instead acknowledge its brilliance hi anju you're late would you be willing to acknowledge its brilliance and then ask what it would take for that whatever particular thing that is to change he's got this question here what it would take for this to change whatever that is at that point of time your body is more conscious than you give credit to it maybe more than you i'm sorry to say because it is willing to be it doesn't have any point of view it does not cut off its awareness like you do so be in question for everything simple nothing is simple kamal how many of you think it is too simple to be true can't be that easy of a question Why nobody told us yes guy uh, jazz so let's say you do wish okay i'll go back to your example of i ask my body right what do you wish to look like right and let's say for example i ended up gaining like 20 pounds on my tummy for example because that's what my body wish to so look that like, is right? your example that is your conclusion <laughs> let's see Okay. Okay. I would say bodies like to look good. Bodies like to be lusted upon. Bodies okay. like touched and adored. Body, body put on weight if it wants to touch and weight in. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe in an area where people give people uh, give more importance to people who are fat. Yes, if you were in that area, the body would be fat. Where are you? Hmm. How many people around you well, like fat, fat bodies? So you bodies no bodies are very aware and very conscious. They would choose what works for around them. Give credit to your body. Let's say what do you mean? Let's say. Let's say is a judgment and a conclusion. You already decided. Okay, for example, you already decided is going to put on twenty kilos of weight. the thas to it will it will show in the love for for the over can we please please yeah, you yourself mute. muted guys when you are not asking a question thank you yes jazz like when you talk about not judging your body right like when you say okay don't judge your body you know so let's say you do wish to change a certain part of it right so just, you're saying oh body this part is just ask a question body would would you like to change this would it be fun for you like for example i have my hair breaking right so right. i ask every day many times in a day i'm asking my hair is that the way you want it do you want to get bald do you want to do you want to shed more hair <laughs> a hair it's okay by me i like my hair i like you the way you are If you want to go bald, fine. No. But if you want to have more hair and you want you want to uh, not shed hair like you are doing at the moment, can I do something for you? Can I contribute to you the way you would? What? Let me know. So I've been getting oil my hair more often. I've been getting um, that talk to it. So I've been doing that, and let's see what shows up. I'm Healy. I'm doing the hair. hair uh, process on that so then i am in sync with my body the awareness that i get i go and do that 
But when I say to my body, like, oh, body, you know, like, let's say I wish to lose weight in a certain area. So I'm like, oh, body, it's okay if you look like this. Okay, all right, go ahead, sorry. But then it's like, if I say, oh, body, oh, like, tell me, for example, like, oh, body, you're so beautiful the way you are. But I don't really mean it. Ah, so then, yeah. of course, then of course, body understands. Body doesn't understand the words; it understands the energy behind it. Hmm. So just let it be. When you look into the mirror without any point and say, "Body, show me what you would like to look like," and that's it. Leave it at that. Let it show you. There are people who have lost weight in in hours. There is Nippy here. who will tell you i have been from last 8 years the same weight i lost a few little uh, in this pandemic and then i gained it again i have been the same since 9 years and earlier i used to fluctuate from 67 65 to 56 in 10 10 kilos i used to function uh, fluctuate between winters and summers because i had a point of view in winters i eat more so i get fat on holidays i eat more so i get fat and i tathastu i would get fat what are you telling your body what if you didn't have to tell anything and ask it to look the way it wants to be looked can you give yourself a month i'm saying maybe it will be done in few days but can you give yourself a month and not say a word and every word that yes. comes up can you pock and pot that can is it that easy can it yeah. be can it be that easy and it's no recording judging, okay instead of judging can you thank it in, in this chapter there is there is uh, try thanking thanking it how about being grateful for it like we in the beginning said that it's functioning effortlessly without your um, probing into it efficiently the systems are running in your body would you please allow it to uh, show you what it would like to do and apologize for all the crap and the judgments you have thrown at it over the years for all the junk that you have put in it you think you like it would you please ask again and again whenever you eat food how much it wants and which food it wants the food that you eat is that body every time is that what body is asking for or is that your point of view or is that your point of view picked up while growing up how many people were you eating the same kind of food when you were growing up i do ask my body now like every day i But do when ask you were growing up what didn't. kind of food were you eating I only ate crap because I, yeah, I only ate crap. I didn't eat any vegetables growing up. That's another question? judgment you're doing. Who body wants crap? Sometimes by my body wants chana paturas, and I say seriously, you really want it? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. My body doesn't like wearing masks. Ah ha! Don't wear it. <laughs> but then i'm at the airport and there's a complete anxiety not i don't i don't have it but there are people around me they're all banging into each other and they're hugging each other and um i've been advised to wear a n95 mask so and hide this wonderful beautiful face looking so good in this airport light so i want to know if the yes, being yes, is the mask. wear mask my point of views are making me wear a mask or the body is asking me to wear a mask I, I, i don't know how to get aware of this no you can just get into your body close your eyes and ask yourself body would you like to wear a mask truth put a truth before that truth body would you like to wear a mask okay before you say it before don't say what you got guys all of you when he asks truth he will ask again you get the energy of what he is saying and let's see that just get you also get present put down your barriers all of you all of you get present with sharad beautiful sharad the handsome for not beautiful the handsome sharad the lighting is very good here in the airport no you are sharad i think you good look good sharad 
शरद इज क्रिएटिंग शरद इज क्रिएटिंग ड्रामा हाँ सो लेट्स जस्ट क्रिएट ड्रामा विद हिम वॉट समाइम इज फन टू हैव ड्रामा so please put uh, uh, sharad ask the question again after putting truth and all of you please let me know what energy did you get was it light or heavy uh, come on sharad ask again truth body would you like to wear a mask now one by one would you tell me what what energy did you get heavy okay what else anybody else it's heavy kavita you were saying something i say it's heavy uh, heavy means a body doesn't want to wear or body wants to wear who doesn't got body doesn't want doesn't to want doesn't want who got body wants I got it that the body wants to wear it. I, I got, got it. The body wants to wear it. Who I also got it. My body hmm. wants to wear it. I got it that he's fighting with two realities. Okay. Yes. So now, Sharad, put down your load, lower, lower your barriers down, and ask that to yourself. Truth. Truth. Sharad, ask again. Truth, body. Do you want to wear the mask? Now, what did you get, Sharad? Truth. <laughs> I'm very distracted. I, I'm looking here and there and looking so at. So lower your there. barriers, darling. Lower your barriers. Lower your barriers. Tell, tell body. Let's be in our body. Let's not get distracted by funny people, stupid people around us. Let's not get body, distracted. Body, tell me truthfully. Tell me truth. Would you body, like? Body, tell me truthfully. Would you like to wear a mask? What did you get? uh no it doesn't want to wear no that's a lie so, that's so a lie so don't wear don't wear it wants to wear body wants to wear <laughs> body is <laughs> but that is the being that is scared i, I the body yeah the body is telling you this is the place to wear the mask go on wear it oh it's not drama created you have to be in communion with your body your body tells you sometimes you want to eat a rasgulla and a body is saying no and then you override it now when your body wants to wear a mask and you are overriding it don't tell me body will say i told you so <laughs> ah so this is shadow uh, this is like this is like uh, building a muscle ah one second So okay, we will go to a third. Third, I was Thank scared you. to have. I was. Kaval, I have a question. Yes, Agni. Uh, like his awareness was different. Your awareness was different. My awareness is different. And a few people, everybody got different answers. Every some people got a yes, some people got a no. Now, um, how do we then know? Uh, so uh, do you do you sometimes know that somebody around you is not is doing something that they shouldn't be doing that's true so uh, so so i i told you to get into lower your barriers and get connected with sharan so now you will get the energy of what sharan said and when everybody all of us get different energy where are we coming from are we coming from our point of views are we coming exactly, from exactly that's what i'm asking ha huh. so every time when you get otherwise you we would get the same energy if we were we had all our barriers down we didn't have any point of view about mask we didn't we didn't go into rights and wrongs we didn't have those stories running in our head all of us would get the same energy so that's why i say please play with it uh so uh, now uh, sharath has asked a question uh and he he got the awareness body doesn't want to wear the mask so now in the uh, airport does he follow that awareness or not no i wasn't now, very clear now, i don't now he after that he explained it to you that his body wants it but his head doesn't want it his being doesn't want it am i right sharath 
yeah, I was trying to convince myself that uh, don't be scared and don't wear a mask. So it, yeah. I wasn't really asking the body. Yeah. So what I got was when he said was what I got was that the body wants to wear what he's giving him the information, but he his his macho ego is saying what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's the energy I received. Uh, and sometimes, correct. sometimes, Sadri, do you receive an energy, a person saying something and you, you know that, that they are lying? Oh, yes. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> please acknowledge but, uh, that. Please come. Please uh, trust your energy. Energy never lies. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll Sharad, run through. I'm more interested. <coughs> Sharad, I'm more interested in knowing where are you going. <laughs> that you can call him later and find out. <laughs> Whether okay, you so wear a mask or Mummy is... go pick up when ja I'm Bangalore. Okay, good. Back today. Good, good. We'll talk later. So the third is I was I mean I'll just run through it. The third is I was scared to have um, uh, no, I was created to have fun. Right? So, how many of you think body was created to have fun? Uh, can I put you on mute, Manju? There's so much of noise, Anju. So, what have you bought life um, and being is about in is all about? What, what growing up have you bought? And you please mute yourself, darling. Thank you. So, uh, guys, I'll just run through it. Um, so, ask a few questions. And light always is true. And a lie makes you heavy. You will always know. You always know. And what would it be like if you always trusted that knowing? Would that be different in the way you look at life? What is fun for you if you would be working, functioning from there? How much fun can I have today? And all the things that lighten up your world. If you, if you were to choose right now from what's, from that knowing, what would you choose? Ask yourself that question in every now moment. And the fourth is, ask me about me. Don't have points of views. Don't, somebody tells you something, you should give, feed your body that and you start be feeding it. It says, I am the one who wants food. I know. How often do you ever consider asking your body for the things that involve your body? Please start asking that. And the fifth is, ask me what it would be would take to get me to look the way you want. Jazz, this is a, your question. Ask me what it would look, it would take, sorry. Ask me what it would take to get me to look the way you want me to. Ask this question. If you just ask this question. It after one month, because for the first for the first month starting today, I'm gonna to say, body, you show me. Yes. And then then you, you body body is telling you, I will comply. Happily comply if you ask me. Because I'm your obedient servant. Body would let you know what it would take. If you care to listen, it doesn't take a huge amount of shift, just a tiny amount of input. Ask and again ask, what would it like you to do? Like I say, will you contribute to me business? And then I say, okay, let me know what you require of me to contribute to you in whatever you're looking for. Say you have pain and it may not be your body. Maybe it has received the information from somebody around you and wants to share it with you. 
just acknowledge it and it will be gone. Hey body, what awareness are you sharing with me that I'm not willing to receive? It may just take a little bit of building a muscle and you'll know. And everything that doesn't allow that to be for you to be present and hear the whispers of your body, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pot, all not short boys and beyonds. The sixth is, please read this, guys. It's such a beautiful thing. I am the one eating. You're not eating. Your body is not, your body is eating. If you try to control and dominate your body, it actually doesn't work. Like earth, you tried to dominate the earth. Did it work? <laughs> then the body, earth is not punishing you, but it, earth is just starting to look at itself. The body also then will start to look at itself and readjust and that might be painful for you. So wouldn't it be fun to be present with your body and know in every now moment what it requires and desires? And seventh, ask me what moments I would like to do. Movements, not exercises. I tortured my body before I came to access. I used to do yoga in the morning and swimming in the evening. And in winters, I would do uh, walking in the morning and uh, dance in the evening. And I thought I needed to do all those to keep my body fit. And I don't do anything now. And my body and me are sync and they're, they're doing good. You just have to see is your body moving in rhythm with you? Are you present? Are you together? Are you enjoying? Is it a pleasure being with your body? Have you heard of a catwalk? They usually use every muscle of their body to walk. And that's what these um, actresses, the people on the stage, dancers are taught. They never turn off their sexualness. So, eight, don't buy the latest fad. Hey, abhi art. Exercise karoge to ab ye nahi cheez aayi hai ye hormones ke liye ye khaoge to ab wo dance nahi aayi hai is naya tarike ka yoga hai naya come on ask your body they don't need to be changed as much as they need to be listened to just listen and it will change anything you want it's that simple. So ninth, asking, where does this come from? So where does this come from? How to handle pain? How to handle discomfort? How to handle hunger? Simply ask. Simply ask. And every time when you ask, it's not yours. You are buying into this reality. You are a sponge bob. You are picking up from everybody else. They say from 8 miles to 8,000 miles you are picking up. If you are depressed here, you are connected to somebody depressed in Canada. It's not yours. Return it to sender. And when you are eating, please ask yourself, am I eating for somebody else? Somebody around because, because they are not, because they are resisting it. He has a story here that a lady used to eat donuts and she kept on eating, kept on eating and she wanted to get over it. And then when she asked some questions, she came, she realized that her, her, uh, where she was working, those people wanted to eat donuts, but they were resisting to eat it. So she was eating it for them. How cool are your bodies? How aware are they? Would you be willing to listen to that? And 10th is, I am a body and you are an infinite being. <laughs> I am the one who eats and who sleeps and who dances and who does the exercises and everything else. You are just an infinite being. You are not inside me. 
I am inside you. You are the universe. But you can have a connection. You can have a communion. How great and how yet so simple it can be. Embodiment doesn't have to be pain and suffering, guys. And the last chapter is about gratitude. What all can I talk about gratitude? I can give you 10 days class with gratitude. Our bodies have been doing such a great job and they are still supporting us. Even though no matter what we have been putting shit with, forcing it on them and putting crap into it, they are still there looking after us. With all the shit, like I always say, with all what I went through, I'm still doing good. So be grateful in every now moment. Recognize it. Don't force anything. Just ask it kindly. Body, what would it take for, this, for us to have that? Apologize. If you were in sync with it, in rhythm with it, in communion with it, what are the infinite possibilities that you that can show up? What else is possible? How does it get any better than this? So the foremost thing is to get out of judgment of your body for not being perfect. How many of you are perfectionists? Most of us aim to it. Most of us aim to it. Oh, you were about to say my name. <laughs> so gratitude allows you to receive and allows you to and receiving allows you to have gratitude and the other way around. So it's like anda pehle aya ki murgi And you desire, you desire to experience the greatness of embodiment. That's why you took, took body. So be it. Acknowledge that I'm here to enjoy this planet that my body, with my body, I can only enjoy it with my body. Without body, you can't enjoy it. Be the sectionless, be the caring, the nurturing, the kindness, the expansive, the joy, the fun. That's who you are. Be kind to yourself and your body. Give yourself time. It may not happen right away. Because lifetime after lifetime, you fucked up your body. You have to give some time. I've just been asking questions for two days, or seven days, or one year, or two years, and it hasn't changed. Give up judging you. It hasn't worked. It won't work. You are perfect exactly the way you are. Exactly the way you are. What more can you add? It's not a completion. You'll never be perfect. There'll be something more to add to it. And acknowledgement is the key. Please read this book again and again and again. Get the energy of it. Start using these exercises. Play with your body. If you want to get the greatness of embodiment, it's always a choice. If you don't, then it's all right. Just dump it on the shelf. Oh, yes, so no. book, reading, book reading is is never a, so much fun with like I have experienced with you. I'm so very grateful to you for this. Thank it's, you, it's darling. It's so fun. It's so light. It's so beautiful. And you know what? I'm acknowledging myself for choosing you. Somewhere I felt a pull, and I'm acknowledging you for being such a such a brilliant facilitator. Thank so you, so. you can join us in book club. Yes, it is I amazing can. being with her. Amazing. Yeah. Can you share the details, Kaval? 
Yeah, I'll put it in the group. We are starting tomorrow. Okay. Sure. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Okay. That's what I do. That's why I do what I do because I love it so much. Okay, Kaval has ever every anyone told you the movie called Sagar that Dimple Kapadia and Rajesh Khan. Uh, sorry, Rishi Kapoor. No, I haven't. What is the movie? Sagar, Sagar, Hindi movie. Okay. And Rishi Kapoor's nani ma, I somewhere felt she just looked like you. <laughs> okay, I must tell them to take me in the movies now. Hi, <laughs> you have that uh, spark. I did some serials. My brother-in-law is a um, filmmaker. My son is also a filmmaker. So what is his name? He he is G S Chani. If you know from Punjab, there are a lot of people who know him. Okay. Uh, he's a, he was a chairman. Uh, Sangeet Nat Academy and a professor at the Film Institute. He's okay. here in Chandigarh nowadays. So I've done a lot of theater and uh, serials with him. Should so, do it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to each one of you. A tight hug to each <laughs> one of you for being here. And it you you can't even imagine how contributive you are. Even the ones who didn't say a single word. The energy, it was beautiful. I loved it. That's why I extended it. And I wanted to finish it, so I just read it twice to get the things, so that I could share it with you. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're welcome, darling. And, and thank you. Thank for you, Kaval. Can I can I say something? Yes, Sir Kavita. Please go ahead. Yes. I am so happy for the four days of embodiment. So I want to gift ten minutes SOP for all the group members. Wow! How did we get so lucky? Anyway, people, you want uh, SOP today? Yes, yes, yes. I know. yes, definitely, definitely. Yes. Okay, starting now. Yes. So all of you, please lower your barriers.
Christ.
<coughs> Sorry. अठारह से दिया कुछ नहीं Guys, it's one. Hello. Thank you, Kavita. 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 Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Kavita. <coughs> Thank you, Kavita. Thank you, Kavan. Thank you, ma'am. Gratitude, Kavan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kavan. Thank you, Kavita. And my word. Thank you, K Square, Kav, Kavan, and Kavita.